What up, Facebook? What's happening? Good morning. Awesome question was posted in this group of badasses, this private group of badasses that I'm in. I'm not taking credit for the group. Somebody else started it. It was an awesome group. And somebody asked the question, what if you were to lose it all? What would you do in one year, three year, five years? What would it look like? How would you get back? How would you make it happen? How would you change things? How would you make it better? How would you make it different? All these great questions, right? And so many great responses too, so many awesome responses. But I wanna, I wanna tackle this for a second because I think it's such an awesome question. We talk about this a lot. And my friends, here's the answer that I give the most. Here's the fact of being a high level entrepreneur, having a business, having employees that rely on you, having a team, having the ability to do what we do as business owners. I wake up every single day like I'm broke, right? I feel like I'm broke every single day. Whether I have money in the bank account or not, I don't even pay attention to it. I have to act like I'm broke every day. So losing it all, it's kind of like we could all do it again, right? Like if you've built something, you could build it again. You have to have the mentality of you're going, you are broke already, right? And you could rebuild it again. So I hear a lot of people that don't want to start because they're afraid of failing or they don't want to get going because what happens what if what what you know what what happens if I fail what happens if it crashes and burns what happens if well guess what that's that's a real reality right what's up Rick that's a real reality for a lot of people but guess what what happens if you don't start ever what happens if you never try what happens if your life goes by and it goes by fast by the way Man, I have a nine-year-old and a six-year-old, and everyone told me, when you have kids, it goes by like that, right? My God, I can't even tell you. My nine-year-old, whoo, I swear to God, she was born last week. Guys, life goes by so fast, and if you don't ever take a risk, how will you ever see the success? How will you ever see the reward? So what happens if you fail? I don't know what happens if you fail you build it again you do it again that's part of the ups and downs in life shit happens guess what there are days as an entrepreneur where you will be broke when you wake up there are days when you will have a ton of money it's the ups and downs sometimes you have to invest everything you have back into your business sometimes you're trying to grow things sometimes you miss deals fall apart sometimes you have to put it back in. Sometimes you get it back out. Sometimes it comes in windfalls. It ebbs, it flows, it's ups and downs. It's all part of being an entrepreneur. So if you don't live like you're broke all the time, then you're gonna fail anyway. So you might as well give it a shot. Here's the other thing. The high level successful business people that I surround myself with have been living like they were broke since they started. They've gone through this entire upswing in the economy where shit is super easy and they've lived like they were broke the entire time. Some of the most successful people that I know live broke all day long and they are wealthy. But they're building something so much bigger than themselves. They're building teams, they're building partnerships, they're building futures, they're building gigantic portfolios so that they know and they do know when the market turns they will be insulated. They will have the ability to take that hit because they know that the market is going to turn. It's apt to happen, right? So why not chase something? Why not build something bigger than yourself? Why not say, fuck the fear, I'm gonna go after it, right? Because you only have one opportunity, guys. We only have one opportunity to chase that thing. So why not? Why fear the failure? Why not chase it? Why not, why not go after it? Why not fix Whatever it is that's keeping you from failing, that's, that's that fear that's keeping you from starting, work on that and go after it. Because guys, the chances are you're gonna fail either way. The chances are you're gonna go up and down either way. You're either going to do it without taking risk or you're gonna do it with taking risk. What's the difference? Hope you guys have an amazing week. Let's get back after it, baby. Thank God it's Monday.